Finally, the American Congress is doing something right. Senators are calling for an FDA probe into Logan Paul's energy drink. Prime is the beverage brand founded by YouTube stars Logan Paul and KSI. Prime Energy is especially popular with kids, even though there is a warning label that says it is not recommended for anyone under age 18. Senator Chuck Schumer is now calling on the FDA to investigate the drink over its high caffeine and the way it markets itself. A lot of parents may never heard of it, but their kids have. Dude, this is great. I cannot wait for Prime to be even more popular than it ever was before. Unless they actually pass some random fucking legislation to, like, stop it dead in its tracks. This kind of criticism from, like, the libtards and the Republicans alike. Oh, my God. It's going to be so popular. He's going to make so much more money. It's crazy. Because Prime is engaged in a vast advertising campaign aimed at kids, even though kids aren't supposed to yeah. drink or drink yeah, he got engaged. this much caffeine. Well, CNN has reached out to the FDA and Prime for a comment on its energy drink. Not yet received a response. We should note the company also makes a Prime Hydrate beverage, which does not include caffeine. Joining us now is CNN medical correspondent Meg Terrell and CNN business and politics correspondent Vanessa Yurkevich. Meg, I want to start with you. You know, the Senate Majority Leader is saying kids shouldn't drink the amount of caffeine in Prime. How much caffeine does this drink have and how much is safe for kids? What is it, six times the Diet Coke or something? Consume. Yeah, so this uh, drink has about 200 milligrams of caffeine in a 12 ounce can. And to try to put that into some context, that's about two bottles of Red Bull. Those are smaller bottles, about 8.4 ounces in a Red Bull can, um, or about six cans of Coke. So uh, that's in one of these cans. And according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, really kids shouldn't have any caffeine. Okay, 200 milligrams of caffeine is not that much. Stop saying holy fuck. One cup of coffee is 100 milligrams. For a kid, yeah, sure. Yeah, Rain and the good rock stars are 180 milligrams. 200 isn't that much higher. Yeah, I mean, I think they'll probably tackle their marketing initiatives. Except if you tackle their marketing initiatives right now and say you can't market the children any longer while you're doing quite literally the greatest marketing initiative of all time by being the stinky adults that say, oh no, children, you can't have this. I don't know where that'll go. You're, you're probably making the problem worse. Some pediatricians say for kids who are, you know, 12 and older, maybe up to 100 milligrams per day, that's a soda or two. Uh, for adults, the FDA usually says about 400 milligrams per day generally doesn't affect people. But for kids, the warnings are, you know, this can affect their sleep. It can cause dehydration, higher blood pressure, anxiety. And there are concerns about too much caffeine's impact on their development in terms of uh, neurological that's development the and their cardiovascular systems, guys. You see Chuck Schumer really taking aim at the marketing here. So, Vanessa, on that note, how is prime? corner in the market and or you're making my most unfavorite kind of person speak up guys who brag about how much caffeine they can drink grown adults who probably brag about staying up late and having no bedtime i just don't think it's that bad <laughs> uh, i mean it, i thought it was way worse definitely worse for ch it's bad for children to drink that much caffeine certainly they should be like me embarrassed for how much caffeine they consume in a day getting the attention of kids well, Prime really exploded on social media. On TikTok alone, they have 3.4 million followers, uh, 42 million likes. This is also driven in part by Logan Paul, the co-founder who has millions of followers himself. He does a lot of the advertising for the brand. But it's important to note that this is the energy drink side of the brand. There's also the sports drink side, but the energy mark is huge. In 2022 alone, sales were at about 58 billion billion dollars uh, billion dollars this year we're going to see about 62 billion dollars globally and projected in the next four years oh my god Logan Paul addresses Canada banning prime perhaps you saw the news this morning complex TMZ Reuters Forbes and many more talking about how prime energy drinks were recalled in Canada but the crazy part about that is we don't even distribute prime energy in Canada let me repeat that we don't even distribute prime energy in Canada so how could it be recalled well the answer is illegal or unauthorized imports of the beverage but of course traditional media doesn't care about that because they just want a headline they want clicks the level of misinformation currently being spread around prime is actually insane and you have so it's banned i'm so confused it's still your product and they banned your product so it's not even like 
have to ask yourself why. Don't forget, we are a better for you product. Our energy drink has 10 calories and zero sugar. Prime formulas are compliant with each specific country's regulatory bodies. All of them. And yeah, our energy drink has caffeine in it. It's an energy drink. And no, our low sugar, low calorie hydration drink doesn't have caffeine in it. But traditional news, and by the way, they're not even news anymore. It should be called stories because people are just making shit up to get clicks. They know that if they talk about Prime, whether the information they're spreading is true or not, they will get attention. Sorry, I make I make my I make my uh talent do the work. Adam is here, guys. Well, yeah. Sorry, I don't have like a like a key grip, a best boy, a sound guy to to fix it up. Perfect. Good, we did it. What's up, everybody? Oh man, yeah, thanks for having closer. me. Thanks for coming on. Of course. Um. Have you seen her yet? No, no this is the I first haven't. time, right? I haven't. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. You look tan. I've been picking. We've been picking a lot, huh? <laughs> yeah, I put out every day. I yeah. try to use uh try to use sunscreen every day. Yeah. My girl. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. She used to be a bit of a menace, but she's fine now. Puppies, you know. Before we get to anything else, Prime Energy apparently has been banned in Canada. Is Prime is that Prime's energy drink? I'm not up to speed. Prime Energy you don't know what Prime is? I know what, what like Amazon Prime? No, 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 no. Oh, I love, okay. I love that. No, Prime Sorry. Energy is Logan Paul and KSI's uh, energy beverage. You Generally, know? when Logan Paul comes up, I, I stop paying attention to whatever it is. Uh, but okay, I, but I now believe that he has a energy drink. It was recalled <laughs> by Health Canada. I wouldn't leave you, lead you astray. <laughs> Wait, is that your, is that your chapstick? What is that? That's chapstick. Sounds really yeah. good. Oh, yeah, okay. it's Burt's Bees. You like Burt's Bees? Mm. I don't really use chapstick, but it smelled like like strawberry vape or something. I would say it's strawberry. Prime is uh, is uh, the the energy drink that has taken the children by storm, mm -hmm. and uh, it's popping. People are going crazy over it. Are they really? It's a hit. Oh, it's a major hit. Yeah, and kids love it. They go crazy over it. They're like, "Mommy, mommy, please give me Prime Energy." There's like one mom who actually did this thing. Hold on one second. Surpass the legal limit of caffeine per can. But this it, it like, doesn't make sense. This it's is like, like four loco stupid. for 2023. No, it's big. It's nanny state, I think. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's nanny state. Okay. Have you had it? Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> oh, here you want to see? Now this I keep is, my game this is unhydrated. So my son's so fussy and doesn't like the taste of plain water. We found another solution: water cooler and prime. Prime is really hard to come by in Australia, so with the help of the retail correction, we've got a huge supply, and he is loving. This it. is bait. With the school holidays, he doesn't even. This have is to this go is to make a new site mad, and they successfully drink. made them school. mad. What do you mean? He's loving it. He's <laughs> loving the fucking prime, prime biv. There's Dude. so many things that are designed to to make you angry about that clip. The the subservient behavior of the mom towards her gamer son. Yeah. The filling up of the water bottle. No, she's an it's, anarchist it's, parent. It's, it's it's such it's such a perfect piece of online content designed to create the exact reaction that it did. I love it. Yeah. Well, I think the Australian government literally saw this and was like, "We're not doing it. <laughs> Fucking hell. No. No. No to Prime. No Prime. No Prime Energy. No Prime Energy in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Um. Love it. This is the same kid. Gamer theme bath time for a fussy child. <laughs> Oh, they're like yeah, okay, this is, this okay. Is, this this mom is just like weaponizing his uh, <laughs> child's. I think I've seen. I think I've seen this. <laughs> is it piss? The, like what's happening? <laughs> well, wait, that's full. It's what is it full of? Gamer prime. fuel prime. It's full of prime. Okay. Uh, I really want to see the laptop dunk in the prime. Yeah, uh, I want to see that thing plop out. <laughs> I love when I'm sitting in a in a bathtub full of Prime to Hello. look at my Fortnite hat. Yeah, that makes me feel good as a gamer to look at a she hat. Puts the, she puts that he puts the hat on to play <laughs> Minecraft. Anyway, Republican presidential candidate Doug Burgum is now giving twenty dollars gift cards to anyone who donates one dollar to him. 
People are hurting because of Biden inflation and giving Biden economic relief cards is a way to help 50,000 people until we get in office and fix this crazy economy for everyone. That's so funny. He needs that so he can be like a real candidate. And he knows he can't get that unless he just fucking cheats. Bro, did you see the Dua Lipa photo? Do not Google on stream. Which which one? The one where, where Dua Lipa is in the shower or fresh off the shower. And then there's like prints on the shower. Handprints. Don't remind me. Well, I just did. No, the one on the Barbie red carpet. That one made the transvestigators go crazy. Like crazy horny. Like what do you mean? I looked up Dua Lipa. And the first thing that comes up on Instagram is Dua Lipa Albanian dance. Wait, what? Oh, wow. She looks great. Good for her. Dua Lipa see-through gown Barbie premiere. Dua Lipa's totally see-through bedazzled gown. And crystal cover thong has us gasping for air. Yeah, it looks great. Happy for her.